Aim Novice Reef Keepers, how are you today? Today we are going to open and have a look at the level sensor by Reef Factory. And the reason I got this level sensor is pretty basically I'll just bring the camera in and show you. So pretty simple guys, I have got the RO unit here. Goes to the TDS here, but it is just, I don't know if you can hear that plumb directly in. Uh, so if I'm at work and unfortunately this gets stuck on uh, the water level will keep rising uh, yes my salinity guardian uh, just in here 36.9 yes my salinity guardian the salinity would drop could tell me two things that this is stuck on or this is um, overflowing making this you know dumping RO and causing the salinity to go down um, but add in oops Adding this beautiful bit of equipment here, as simple as it is, they are relatively cheap, is just a simple sensor. When this goes up, it will send an alert to tell me that the water level in my sump has risen. So I'll simply add that in a spot which doesn't go down or up, not the return chamber. And that will tell me if this RO has been stuck. And then I can accordingly... Uh, race home or get someone to help me so let's let's open up and have a look and hope it does uh what i think it does so apparently there's some actions i can use with the return pump which i am using there lovely return pump if you can see it in there with its beautiful new display there that's a video for another time but apparently there is some actions with this to the return pump so you could turn the return pump up and down if you want to put the level uh, sensor in the weir. So when the weir goes up and down, you can actually use the level sensor to tell the return pump to turn up and down to adjust your weir um, and maybe do some other things. But that's basically what I think it does. But for me, I'm going to use it simple as, and I place it on the tank just there. Um, just as a bit of an alarm if something's not right. Alright guys, so let's open this uh, bad boy up. So There we go. Smart aquarium device. So just have a quick look here. Some paper. Always gives me a giggle with the amount of instructions. Uh, a bit of paper. That's the Euro plug. That's the one we need, the Aussie plug, Chinese plug, power pack, so we'll just put that in there, we run a stayer, I might keep that there, and then here it is, so some bits for the bracket and then the whole unit, pretty simple, it's just a float switch. Um, I'm sure you can get float switches for quite cheap. Um, but it's nice to have all this and maybe I might use some actions later on. If they suit me. The return pump idea won't suit me for this exact one, but I might put one on the Wii if I wanted to control the Wii height. Um, so that's the power. And obviously this is for the height. So I'm just gonna see. Oh, that's gonna be right, I hope. Sensor goes, I believe. Now I'm not sure if it goes that way guys. Which doesn't make sense. I believe it normally sensor goes that way. And as the water rises, beep, 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 I get an alert. Um, oh, I have to take this all the way so the sensor doesn't move. That's, that's good. Um, it would be cool if they had some actions for this, maybe to shut something off. So I could hook it up to maybe a, 
a valve that shuts off my RO outside or something like that. Nice and neat. So pretty simple. Just like that, the water rises. And I get an alert. Pretty quick, you know, if it's only raised that much. Um, and I haven't turned the system off, then I could probably get home before it floods. Um, so let's go put on the tank and we'll have a look at that. Alright guys, so pretty simple. Um, it just goes like this. And I got another screw for there. And I need to go much higher than that. So I hope that I can adjust it to the height I need. <coughs> So that's still not high enough. What a height is a lot higher than that. So I might remove this bottom screw. I did do this on my um my probes at the back there. They're just running one one screw on them because of the water height. So let's let's not mess around. Let's find exactly. So just there. Where do I want this? I mean, maybe here. This is annoying me already. Um, that would be nice if that was a bit neater. I have to cable tie it like that, it's just a bit ugly. So I've got the screw for that to the right height. Oh, that screw, I don't know if you can hear that, it clicks so it doesn't get, it's relatively tight. Oh, that's pretty tight. Um, so this is a negative, I think. So um, this being so long, maybe it's because I've shortened it so much, but I do like the stuff neat, so I might have to tuck that away like that or get some cable ties. This is relatively short. I have been critical in the past, um, the same as this. I don't like to have the cord here. I'd like to tuck them around the back and into my power station and have this actually shorter and have this longer. Um, because it's going to corrode um, and the best way to protect them actually is to get a soft bit of tubing and to put this in the tubing and then tape the electrical tape or something so no water gets in there um, so I'll go and I'll plug this all in and we'll have a look at how it connects um, there is a new way of connecting um, equipment so we might look at that in this video alright guys so it's all in um, the cords they really, really annoy me. I just really wish they had that, the power adapter bit around the back so I could put the cords out of the way. I'll show you what I mean. This ends here, same as the, the filter roller here. And the best I could do is I could cable tie them and then they'll be like that. But wouldn't it be better if I could just like completely yeet them <laughs> at the back there? Um, so instead, yeah, that's definitely something I reckon that refactory can improve is, you know, this, if this wasn't here, you could go around the back, you know, through, you wouldn't see it. This one would probably be a bit harder, but I actually probably would have went up to the top here, cable managed it along the thing, and then it would have looked a lot better. Like I said, there's a new process um, to doing this. So it used to have to be that you put the Wi-Fi in, yada, 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 all that sort of stuff. Um, so now you'll see at this bottom bit, see where I'm clicking, little dots popping up. You got add an aquarium, group device, and add, sorry, group devices, and then add a device. So you just want to click add device. What this will actually do is show you the new procedure. It will bring up everything they're coming out. Um, I do check this every now and then to see if something coming up that... Um, we're not meant to see. Oh, I see it. There's a smart feeder there. Um, I haven't seen that before. 
Um, so what you want to do, um, thermo view I'm waiting for of my next videos. There you go, level sensor. So you want to click next. You just want to click next. Um, it's asking to scan, so you might just go in there now and scan the device. So we want to get this. Well, that didn't work, so what we want to do is just input the, the serial number. Oops, no, we don't want to scan. So bang, we're connected to the device it looks like, we're now connected back to Wi-Fi. So you used to have to do all this yourself, but it seems like it's just all a bit automatic now, which is a, which is cool. Alright, so it should appear in about 60 seconds, so, so it's uh, all connected now. We'll click the emergency level here, um, and I've got it set now, you can set it to if it's below. Um, or if it's high, um, I mean above, so I've got a set now for it to alert if it's above. So I'll go ahead and lift the sensor now. So all in all, the, the sensor works for exactly what I want it to do. It will tell me when my, my sump goes too high, it will send me an alert, so that works great. The only negative thing I could say is, is the cord length. I don't like to have the, the connectors in the sump area where it's wet and has humidity and salt creep and all that. I'd like to have that more um, more length at the front and it be more towards the back, if that makes sense, so we could put the cables away and in the back. Um, I could tuck the, the cables, oops, I could tuck the cables so they go around a bit, but then what happens is they overhang over the sump and that just scares me, that's why I'm forced to put them at the front when they're like that. So hopefully they can fix that maybe in the future products. Um, another thing I'll say is I have spoken to Reef Factory since and they have said the option is um, I could tell the level, sen level sensor to tell the power switcher what to do. Power switcher is a device that I'll also do a review on which is just an on and off device. So you, with actions you can tell it to turn something on and off like a skimmer. In my case, I might get an electronic uh, gate valve for my RO unit, so when that sensor goes off, it tells the power switcher to turn on the gate valve, which will then shut off my RO and um, stop that problem, so I can come home and fix it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. As usual, we'll do a little bit of a, uh, a video of the tank. Meet my, uh, my latest clownfish. We'll do a little video, a quick music, whatever. See a little update on the tank. Thanks for watching.